Hi guys, I just want to take a few minutes here to go over the basic layout of our D2L classroom area. Uh, so the first thing you may notice is at the very top here you have a navigation bar. And the navigation bar will get you to basically all the main components of the course. So for instance, Course Home will always take you to this back to this page if you're ever anywhere else. Content is going to link you to all the course content. So uh, if you have assignments due or discussions for the week, each of those is separated into individual weeks and it's all going to be listed there when it's visible. I'm only going to make these things visible during the week that they're due. So you don't feel overwhelmed uh, and don't, you don't feel the need to work ahead. You're working with everybody else. Uh, so don't worry if you don't see everything the week that you're working on should be visible, visible there. And the second thing is discussion. So when you have, a, have to do a discussion, all your discussions are going to be listed there. Uh, they're also in the content area, so, you know, for the week. So when you have a discussion due for the week, it will be listed with that week. This is just a way to get to all of them. Uh, the Dropbox area is the area you're going to go to to turn in your assignments. So it'll have all of the assignments listed there. Again, this is also available in the content area for the week. So if you have an assignment due in a week, uh, a link to that Dropbox for that assignment will be listed in the content area too. And grades, you know, I'm not going to go into that too much. Your grades are going to be listed there. I'm going to try to grade things as fast as I can. And I'm going to give you 48 hour, uh, I'll, I'll try to get back to you in 48 hours. Um, that's my semi-promise. Uh, I'm going to try to do that. Uh, and it should calculate your grades automatically, so you should have an idea of how you're doing in the course as I grade items. Uh, the second thing is a class list. You don't need to worry about that too much. Uh, chat is a way that you can uh, go in and use a simple chat to chat with each other. Uh, okay, so going down we have the important links area. Uh, the, the main ones I want to point, point your attention to are the FCST 1010 syllabus. So the syllabus for this course that's going to list uh, all sorts of things you need to pay attention to. So just take a few minutes to read over that if you haven't already. Um, Next thing is the link to my virtual office space, and you can see my office hours are from Friday 9 to 12. These are optional. You don't have to come to this, uh, but if you have any questions, I'll be hanging out there from 9 to 12 on Fridays. Okay, uh, other things you might need in this course or other courses, the Ask a Librarian Help page, and we do, have, we do have several options for you as distance learners to get help if you don't attend a campus. Uh, we also have the Tutorial Center help. Uh, and those are two good resources. Okay, uh, going down we have the frequently asked questions area. Uh, so this is, you, you should consider this the main area to ask any questions about the course, uh, about the assignments, or anything like that. And I'm doing this because I want other people to see your questions that you're having because chances are if you're asking a question other people may have the question. And also, so when I give you an answer um, or another student gives you an answer, everybody else can see that and benefit from that. Okay, so going up and over, uh, in the very center is the news. And this should be updated anytime we have news, anytime the week changes to another week. I'm going to have the link to the current week's assignment here. You can see here I have the course orientation uh, link here. So that links you to the, the assignments for this week, the module for this week so you can get to all your assignments and stuff. And basically this is going to be pretty much the same as the content area that links you to all, the place where all your assignments are. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and do that every week here uh, so it's easier to find. I'm also going to, going to do a short introduction a short introduction video for the week uh, so that will be there as well for you. Uh, sort of do, just to give you a heads up on what to expect for the week. Now, the other thing, uh, calendars, it's going to list all the assignments for the course, uh, so check that out. Uh, and also, any updates you have, your emails and any unread discussion posts, um, these will continue to show up unread until you mark them as being read. Uh, so make sure to do that in your discussion post when you've read a discussion, just so you can keep track of it. Uh, and then any emails, um, and if you're not you know, posting something to the discussion board, and you're sending an email directly to me or I respond to you this way, it's going to pop up there. Uh, so just keep track of those. But mostly we're going to communicate in this FAQ discussion area so everybody can see it. Uh, well, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions,